Rock. KISW. BJ, our next guest movie, the new movie, is so awesome that my heart is still racing from this film, and we saw it last week. <laughs> now, even if I didn't see this movie, though, I'd be able to say with confidence that this film rules based on the headline of a recent review of the movie. The publication wrote, 127 hours causes fainting. Vomiting and seizures. <laughs> Please welcome to the show, Danny Boyle. Thank you very much. What an introduction. <laughs> Thank you. Dude, I swear, for a good two hours after the movie that we saw it, I remember even talking to my woman. She's like, well, how was the movie? I'm like, well, to give you an idea of how great this movie was, my heart is still going like a million miles per hour. Yeah. It was just such an adrenaline rush to watch this movie. It is. He's fantastic performance, I think. Because a lot of people say there's a lot of good stuff in it, obviously. It's an amazing story about this guy who cuts his arm off. But, and there's, a, there's lots of good music in it and all this kind of stuff. But the reason people get so worked up about it is this performance. Because you, you empathize with this guy and you kind of get trapped with him. And the only way you're going to get out is what he has to do eventually to get out. And you sort of get, I think you get involved in it to the extent of like you're pushing him, driving him on to do it. So you're, you're you're kind of part of it in the end and and the feeling when you do get out is proper euphoria he calls it the guy he's based on Aaron Ralston calls it ecstasy but yeah. um, we call it euphoria to avoid any legal issues that might be <laughs> to do to you know um. yeah you, you don't want to get down that road the ecstasy people go hey that's our name <laughs> yeah yeah what are you talking about 127 hours opens in Seattle at the Regal Meridian Guild 45th as well as other theaters beginning Friday November 19th uh, this is again Danny Boyle he seems to be able to put epic scenes in a movie that have you go, what in the name of, and you did it in train spotting, the baby in the crib scene, still you go, what, the, a very powerful scene that burns in your brain. Then, of course, the kid who, you know, takes a bath in human excrement, which, uh, you know, which actually led to uh, Hugh Jackman singing this song. I would swim a sea of human excrement. <laughs> But to make matters even better, when we had Hugh Jackman on our show, he actually re-sang that song for us uh, while we had him on the phone. I would swim a sea of human excrement. Yes! <laughs> and Danny, when you came in, uh, you know, and, and, I, and I love somebody who loves his project so much, he will stump around the countries and try to get people to get attention to the movies, which are great movies. And at the time, folks were like, so what is this Slumdog Millionaire, you know? And you were just, you know, hey, here, let me tell you about my movie. And of course, flash forward a couple months, few months later, you got the nice trophy, and you do. You have a little bit more swagger in your stack this time. You look, you, a think? Little, you look a little bit more like, okay, I'm me. That's right, I did it. <laughs> I'm not honestly. I'm. I'm. Uh, it's 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 very seriously. It's a very important thing to go around and support your movies. It's actually very. It's very very important because it's very easy to take things for granted and you shouldn't do. And it's funnily enough. It's one of the themes of this film because he takes people for granted. He's 27. Yeah. He's got everything going for him. He's an amazing athlete, does everything on his own, doesn't need anybody, goes into this place and he gets trapped. Impossible circumstances, but trapped by his right hand and he can't move for six days and he's got a tiny amount of water and he's going to die. And it's only when he... It's not so much his brilliance that gets him out of there in terms of physical effort, though he does try everything. It's that he has a change of heart about what matters and the people who matter to him. Yeah. And he goes, through, he goes on this journey through it, and then he can finally see a way out of of the place, and then's when he does the big thing. It, it, James Franco's performance is powerful, just powerful. And you talk about being immersed in a movie because... You are there, and that one scene, as I brought up, of course, the baby scene from Train Spotting, the ch the kid falling in the in, in a puddle of excrement in Slumdog Millionaire, the scene of basically where you know what he's got to get it done in order to live. That scene will have you go oh, and and I do believe it's because of the fact that you have pretty much put us in here the, in there with them because I've yeah. seen plenty of movies with a lot worse, yeah, like Saw or Jackass. Yeah. They've all got stuff in them that's like I mean much much worse than that. But people get it's the actor, I think, that people just get so involved in it and, and in what he's doing. And, and it takes him quite a long time because it's not easy. It, you can't trivialise it. And, but nor do you want to turn it into a horror movie. It's not that either. No. It's something human and it's, uh, it's something you think you might not be capable of, but actually we're all capable of. I think we'd all do it to get out of there, to get back to life, to get back to these people that he needs to get back to. And um, it's, the reaction is extraordinary. We've had, I thought we'd have a lot of um, walkouts, you know, people walking out. We haven't had any walkouts at all, though we had, of course, had a couple of well, carryouts. And you were there, <laughs> but, but you were there for the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, seriously, it's been... Yeah, no, I've seen these people. You saw them faint and, and vomit? They, they just become too... They just become... It's not like revulsion. It's like 
empathy. It's sort of like, yeah. it's like they used to say about the Shea Stadium concerts, the Beatles and girls fainting and stuff. It's sort of in that territory of kind of like, they just get so involved in it, people, and then they oh, just black yeah. out. And then, oh, yeah. And listen, seriously, we carry them out. And then I, I've seen them wake up outside and they go, oh, hello. <laughs> and they say, oh, sorry. Um, good movie, by the way. Um, and then they go back in for the ending. Seriously, they all go back in for the ending. Wow. So it's, yeah. um, <laughs> you do get people. I sat behind these two guys in New Jersey and they hummed all the way through that oh, scene. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that the sound wouldn't go in their ears. It was very funny. Yeah, because sure. between the music and the sound, it was just like, I thought my heart was going to pop out of my mouth. I was like, I can't handle this anymore. Oh, my God. So, Danny, I have to ask, and I don't know how, how honest you will be about it, but uh, James Franco was amazing and probably will get an Oscar nomination. It will be a sin if he doesn't, because only because of what I've seen him do in yeah. the past. He is such a chameleon. I don't think people realize how good he is. Was he... Your first choice. That's that's. I'd love to hear whether or not that's true because you you hear about people who turn down roles. Was he the first I, choice? I wouldn't come all this way from London to be dishonest with you. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope we had that kind of relationship. I would hope that. But no, we saw about six guys, including him, at the beginning. And the first time we met him, it was a terrible meeting because I swear to God, he was stoned. He was like <laughs> virtually asleep. I don't even think he thought we were in the room. He was like, and the, and the casting director said, no, 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 don't pay attention to that. That's just what he's like. That's the Pineapple Express thing. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not, he's very abstemious, actually. He doesn't do anything as far as I could see. But the second time we met him, he read a bit of it for us. One of these video messages that he leaves for his parents, mm-hmm. which is very moving. And as soon as he started reading it, we knew it was him. So. Wow. And he's not like a lookalike for him, although he does end up looking a bit like him, but he's an amazing actor. And Pineapple Express was a big factor in it, actually, weirdly enough. It sounds funny, but you want an actor. He's a terrific actor, but you want an actor who can also do comedy. Because there's a lot of the film where he has to entertain you, to keep you in there. Yeah. You know, and he does. There's one point where he's he's like he's on a talk show, like on a radio talk show. Yeah. And taking calls from viewers ringing in saying, what are you doing there, man? And and it's like, and he plays these multiple personalities. And you need a brilliant actor to juggle all. That. And that is beautiful, and uh, you know, and I don't know how close that is to the videos he did leave because the real Aaron did leave videos, which he thought would be basically, you know, an epitaph, if you will. Yeah. He and it was beautiful because you could imagine that he is going nuts, it, p- partly because of the reality that he doesn't think he's going to get out of there, and you can see him going insane at the not having the water and the food and the realization. It was beautiful to actually see the comedy come from the insanity. Yes, he's he has these this he took this video camera. And and he thought increasingly he knew he didn't think he knew he was dying and that he would die and that the only thing that would be left of him are these messages he leaves for his loved ones for people who he to be honest he admits he hasn't given enough attention to mm-hmm. you know he hasn't spent enough time and he realised how precious that is now and it's weird it helps him get out of there somehow it keeps him going and that thing everybody goes on about the survival instinct that we're all meant to have individually because what it's based on is not you as an individual it's you as you relate to other people and it's your need to get back to those people is, is what triggers that survival instinct. It's not just to keep your life going for yourself, it's so that you can reconnect with those people and yeah. uh, including naked girls in a van. Yeah. I yeah. thought I'd mention that anyway. Oh, just <laughs> I know! Yeah, that, that was so awesome. I appreciated that scene. <laughs> it was, it, it was, fa- but you know it was, it's great because he was, it was it, what a great, I mean, when you watch this movie you're going to see the cockiness of the fact that yeah. he just basically, in the beginning of the movie, he charms the hell out of one, if not both of these girls he meets and he's still cocky enough to go yeah maybe I will talk to you girls later I mean <laughs> he's such an arrogant cocky guy and then boom you yeah. pretty much you, he gets basically yeah. the biggest lesson any any jerk could ever get I know it's, it's and he and not only that he realizes after a while he he achieves a bit of humility really because he realizes he doesn't blame anyone or anything he says I'm responsible. I'm what got me here. This is me, isn't it? I, this is me living out. This is where I wanted to be, to be in this terrible moment, didn't I? And what yeah. a great message, Danny, because this is what I love about the movie, because that, that realization, that accountability is the only path for him getting out of there. Yes, it is. It's absolutely. You, you, that, Cormac McCarthy, the great writer, says what he achieves is grace, which is the thing that heals men and brings them to safety long after all other resources are exhausted. And that's what it is. It's not power and might and physical achievement that gets him out of there. It's something spiritual that actually gets him out of there, yeah. The BJ Shea Morning Experience on 99.9 KISW.